You won't let us down. You've never let us down in your life. We do. You can only let us down when we have expectations. Uh, Monza versus Inter. <laughs> Monza plus 625. Inter minus 245. Look at this game straight away. Monza. Do they score? Plus 107 for Inter to keep a clean sheet. Inter win to nil is obviously going to be greater than plus 107. So all of a sudden, if you don't think Mon Monza are going to score, Inter must score, surely. Uh, but Inter are plus 151 to score three. So is this Inter an under three and a half, Tan? Uh, there is, I think, little doubt about Inter making it. But how making it? Monza, a lot of issues. Um, they lost their two best players um, and they are not even that solid. But the thing is that they are struggling to produce football. Inter will not, didn't have the time to prepare for this game like everybody else. But why am I stressing that? Because you can visibly see when Simone Inzaghi got one whole week to work with his players, Inter playing fantastically, like against Atalanta. He got the players all back on a Wednesday uh, from uh, the international break. He will rotate because Inter are going to approach one of the most crucial three weeks of their uh, first start of the season because then they have Manchester City away and the derby. But still, even with the rotation and everything, I think there is enough for Inter to, for Inter minus one, and Inter minus one is uh, 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 even that, not like Torino, but super good odds as well. Yeah, but what about Inter winter nil or just go with Monza also, not to score? Monza not to score is plus 107, which means you even get that rarity of a nil-nil draw uh, straight off of uh, Nations League prior to a Champions League. Stranger things have happened. This stinks of a Monza nil Inter one, Mina. Actually, I'm not interested. Do you think uh, Do you think Monza will score, Tang? No, I don't. Mm, no, don't. to be honest, to be honest, no, to be honest, no. But I prefer just as backup to say Inter minus one. But it's equally good the the, the bet on Monza not to score. Yeah, I mean, the, the only thing I'd say about that, uh, Mina, before I get your sort of uh, your look upon this game is is what the, when you go to minus one in this type of game. Inter are the type of side that can go 1-0 up and play with their food and you've actually backed a winner and predicted that the opposition won't score and only get a push. When you actually can see that... I actually wrote this game being 1-0, possibly 2-0, because Monza might overcommit late on. But you know what will happen? As soon as they go up in this game, that is it for me. I think we're going to see Inter completely shut them down right across the park. You know what irritates me is that Inter are never spoken about as one of the best teams in Europe because they are. They play. They are the top five. Football. I just think they're outstanding and they are not always recognised for how beautiful their football is. And I think what you've got in Inzaghi is a really capable tactician right now who is showing you how he can get a team to play as united and as fluent as he's managed with this inter side and I, I don't think it's spoken about enough honestly in the international press inter yeah. against Atalanta were just were just astonishing to watch I think they are one of the the absolute best sides in Europe and they are certainly worthy of getting as many compliments as Bayern Munich or Manchester City as they are for the Champions League they obviously don't have the money of these other teams but in terms of how they've produced and how they've played they are the best side in Italy, by far. And and they're far better than anything in France or Germany for me as well. Thank I'd you. Yeah. You put any side out of France or Germany in a matchup, I've got Inter as favourites. Yeah, One off the, or home or away. Would you agree, uh, Tan? Totally, totally, totally. I mean, it's, uh, I'd say, um, it's sound even almost too easy, but the thing is that the, thing, the two things go together. So all this praise and all about Inter, but also all the issues about Monza. Cioè, look, Monza, I think for what we have seen in three games, which is very little, I reckon, yeah. but maybe for what we've seen in these three games has been the poorest football. Maybe yeah. it's been the poorest football. Yeah, I'm, I, think, I'm I, I think you're right, yeah. now. I just can't see Monza scoring in this, to be honest with you. I know they're playing at home. 
they are, you know, that they're trying to build something, but they've lost Palladino. I just, they've lost two of their best players. I cannot see how they're going to get out of this in all honesty. I think to me, this is just going to be another showing where in to show you just how brilliant they are. Um, and uh, Monza will still be trying to figure it out because I don't think Alessandro Nesta is the ideal coach for this team. I think this is a, one of those, you know, we know you, we love you as a man. So here's the job. I, I'd like to be proven wrong in this, so I, I don't trust Monza yet. I think they need a little bit more time before they find their feet and before they find their fluency. So for me, this is a comprehensive win for Inter. Yeah, and again, just be careful. You check the lineups because some of these players you'd expect to be playing, the big stars, they cannot afford injuries. Remember, they've got Manchester City midweek and then they've got Milan next week, which borders on the biggest game of the season. So let's just go to Monza, 1-0, get out of here, no injuries, no suspensions, and let's them prepare. Because I'll tell you something, they could shock Man City if you think it's a shock. OK, so I'm just I'm just saying that. Uh, OK, Monza team total under 0.5 for me at plus 107. Uh, all of a sudden, I've got like David Attenborough. No, I the... wanted to. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Did you see? I mean, yeah. uh, how do you, uh, what's the name? Yes, peacock. there was a peacock passing by, passing outside the window.